This video is going to be on how to clean a green pool. Hi, Mark from Mark's Reviews and Tutorials and is another video for the Pools Demystified playlist. So, got ourselves a bit of a ripper pool here. It's a lovely shade of pond, you'd have to call it, um, with a good layer of debris all over it. Uh, it hasn't had an awful lot of uh, treatment, but you notice you can see light patches there. That's dark on the bottom. You can actually see through to the distinguishing differences there on the bottom and also over here at the steps you can actually still see the steps and give them a brush in a minute to see but there's a lot of dust and debris and green I'm gonna really dose this up um, step number one when you get a pool like this is that you can't chemically treat dirt it's even gonna rain on me while I do this so what that means is that you need to get as much um, leaf matter and debris and algae and everything out as you can because anything that's left in there is just going to soak up the chlorine and algicide that you put in so to start off with big dose of chlorine this is a 50,000 litre pool normally a 15 litre dose would be enough to fix a green pool but this is copping twice that I'm going to give it 30 uh, and again two litres of algicide to go into it to uh, dose it up okay so I've started to leaf rake the pool as you can see there's quite a lot coming up from the bottom. Uh, this pool's got a saltwater chlorinator on it, so it's had a little bit of chlorine continually pumped in, keeping the water a bit clear. But uh, down at the bottom where it's um, sedimented, it's gone really green. And you can see here floating around, there's um, like thick sheets of algae where it's all clung together and settled in the dust. So uh, that's step one. As I said, you can't chemically treat dirt, so everything you can do to get um, the algae out I've done this corner back here, so we'll just absolutely go for it, get as much as we can out. I haven't put the chlorine and algicide in yet, um, so we'll get as much as we can out and leaf rake it, everything we can out, I said that lots and lots, sorry, and then um, get the chemicals in and give it lots of filtration and then, uh, yeah, let it go overnight. Hopefully you get a lot more will settle down and then we might be able to vacuum it. There's too much to vacuum here. If I tried to vacuum that, you'd, pump your, you'd block your pump basket or your skimmer basket a hundred times. It has to be leaf raked to start with, so you can get that sort of quantity of um, muck out. Still going with this pool, and you can see it's, it's getting better. Just leaf raking up and getting as much as I can. Now what it looks like up close is uh, this. This is what I'm leaf raking up off the bottom. So of course, if I tried to chemically treat that, if I had it just gone straight in with chemicals, that would just soak all the chemicals up. But the more of that I can get out, um, the better. As I'm scraping the bottom, there's also air coming up, like because there's a plant, it's got some air trapped down there. You see it's quite thick, and uh, there's some of it floating up on the top again, so I'll scrape all that off the surface. And then um, add the chemicals, and then give it a brush. And then it'll really go green and I won't be able to see the bottom, but I'll just brush the walls and give it as much of a brush as I can to loose everything up. Uh, so it's um, as clear as, not as clear as possible, but so the algae can get to it and there's nothing stuck. It's chemical time. So uh, I'm going to hit this pool up. It is looking a lot better now. I've leaf raked out a lot of kilos of um, green slime off the bottom. It's nice when, it, when you actually get so much of it up with a leaf rake. It didn't pass through the net, so I've been able to get lots of it out and really just change the colour, uh, certainly the quantity of what's down on the bottom. And I will skim the surface again now, but uh, to be honest, I'm a bit exhausted after doing that for quite a while, sort of over an hour straight. So uh, time to change up. So liquid chlorine, uh, you can get chlorine in all sorts of forms. And uh, when you want a shock dose uh, green pool, I definitely would recommend liquid chlorine every time. It doesn't leave a residue, you don't have to mix it, goes in, works instantly, um, and, and really is the best way to go. Uh, I'm not a big fan of calcium-based chlorine. Uh, whenever you've got a saltwater chlorinator, please, yep, I'll stick a link up here. Where's it up, up here? Um, have a look at that video about don't add, stop adding calcium chloride to pools. It's important. A lot of people are adding it, the pool shops are adding it because the computers say to, but as I explained in that video, a lot of times it shouldn't go in at all. So, big dose of liquid chlorine. Now, this or acid, pool chemicals, you get them on your clothes, they, the chlorine will take the colour straight out, the acid will actually make a hole. Um, so, the best way to add it, I mean, you can lower, lower the whole container in and do it bit by bit, but 
when you've got a whole lot, and here I've got two containers needing to go in. I don't know if I'm going to get this off with one hand or not. Here I am. The best way I've found to do it is uh, to get that off. Peel the O-ring off, otherwise I'm going to lose it in the pool. And then, standing behind the drum back here, actually just tip it up like that, and then walk away straight behind it. Because it will splash, and it will carry on. You can do that to its heart's content now. See, I've stuck it over the edge as much as possible. And I've put it down, the filter return is just here, so the water is flowing past. And here, it's starting to settle down already. But in all seriousness, if you're putting those in, you're gonna put the whole drum in. That's the easiest way, and you don't get it on you or on your clothes. It will sometimes even splash up onto the deck a bit, and if it does, then uh, you just simply give a bit of a hose off or a bit of a splash off. So now for the tail end, we just tip that in, and it doesn't splash when it's coming out nice and controlled like that. And there you go, 15 litres into the pool. Now I do then wash the drums, I've got to put them back in my car, and you carry them against your clothes and all the rest of it, so I just give it a wash so as I don't end up with any chemicals on me. And the algae side, again, I would just tip it in in front of the uh, return. I'll show you that as well. I'm using a copper-based algicide. Uh, again, what they've got on the label, got all sorts of marketing and different things. Um, Benzocodium chloride is a popular choice in um, fixing green pools, and I think that's a great idea. But I like the copper uh, simply because it hangs around longer and um, can get all the nooks and crannies. When you get a pool that's been this green for this long, there's lots of algae going to be in all sorts of hidden places. So putting in a copper-based algae side um, is really good. Here's the here. Active constituent copper, 22 grams per litre, present as complex blend of copper salts. And it's got some benzoconium chloride in there as well. So we'll tip that in. You can watch this. You see as it goes in near the return. That's why I'm adding the chemicals at this point, because that is distributing it around the pool. Now again, that's got a lot of dye in it. To make the pool look nice and blue. But we'll let that distribute around the pool. And you will notice the pool straight away will respond to that liquid chlorine. And have a bit of a Star Wars thing going on. You can have a light side and a dark side. It's a lot darker up here. But um, that'll pour up and come around, and that algae side will distribute around, and very quickly this water will clear up. So I'm going to put, do that again, put in another 15 litres of chlorine, and put in another bottle of algae side, and then I'm going to give the pool a brush all over. These chemicals are having a very definite effect now. You see that algae is bleaching up on the top, you can see it's dying. And uh, around here, the um, algae is a very different colour that got stuck on the top of the steps there and then our brush off and um, turn to dust but again we needed to get as much off as we could and out as we could so that they could have that effect you see it's all a different colour now on top it's only been I don't know sort of 10-15 minutes I just made a couple of uh, videos some testing videos for testing for phosphates and how to use a little aqua strip test kit for marks reviews and tutorials for the uh, Pools Demystified channel, so have a look up there. I'll put a link um, if you want to have a look at those testing videos. But uh, this is looking good. I'm going to leaf rake it again now, and then I'm going to um, brush it as much as I can, um, and then I'll be out of here. So here is the response on that pool now. It's had about another half hour of filtration with those chemicals in it. We're getting foaming on the top. Foaming's very um, consistent with adding benzoconium chloride, so don't panic about that. Um, but I'll see if I can give it a bit of a kick here so that you can see the steps that's a dramatic change from what it was I'll come back to this pool in a few days give it a back to waste because all of that algae will settle down 
and the algae that stuck on the wall, I was brushing the walls, but it wasn't coming off. That will then brush and come off next time around. And again, this is why I use the copper-based algae side um, because it's got the long-term stuff. It'll hang around and keep on getting algae spores out and keeping that under control. But that pool's looking fantastic. Um, and uh, as you can see down here at the steps, very, very different to where we started. Well, here we are, four days later, as you can see, the water is looking crystal clear. Isn't that a lovely transformation? You can certainly see where I have brushed and where I haven't, and places there I was brushing where the algae wouldn't come off, uh, and around here, all the way around. What this pool needs now is a vac to waste, um, to vacuum it, uh, to get all of this where it all's all settled. Sometimes you'll get a pool, you come back to one, it's just all cloudy, so you need to add some flock in so it'll settle. But this one has settled beautifully down, so uh, it's doing really good. That's an incredible change from when I walked onto this pool four days ago. So uh, there you go, big dose of chlorine, big dose of algaecide. This has got the benefit that it's got a saltwater chlorinator on it, so when you're running the filter, it's um, dosing up with chlorine all the time as well. So I'll give this pool a vacuum to waste. Uh, and then they've also purchased a robotic cleaner, um, uh, a Haywood um, Tiger Shark is the one they've gone for. I like those units. If you're in Australia, um, look up Millenbeck Pool and Spa Service for a good price on one of those. I can send them anywhere in Australia and uh, we'll get you sorted out. Okay, so there you go. Great result on this pool. I'll give it a vacuum out to waste. And then um, the tiger shark, the robotic cleaner, will keep it clean from there.